Hey guys, we are adding integers modeling with chips today. Um, my learning target is I can represent integer operations with concrete models and connect the actions with models to standardized algorithms. So I'm going to use chips as a in picture form. You can do this with actual physical chips. I'm going to show you that this circle with a negative number um, negative sign in it is representing a negative number then we have the circle with a plus sign in it to represent our positive number and then the other thing we need to know is zero pairs so a positive and a negative basically cancel out each other and equal zero All right, here's our example. We have two, negative two, represented by two negative two chips, or two negative chips. And then we have positive three, representing by three positive chips. And then we're gonna see if we can make any zero pairs. So we can make a zero pair here. So that becomes zero and another pair here that becomes zero. So all we have left is positive one. All right, we are gonna draw our own chip model. So we have five negatives. and six positives and we see our zero pairs and so all we have left is a positive one All right, number two, we have six positives and two negatives. We're gonna create our zero pairs and what we have left is four positives. So our answer is going to be four. Number three, we have three negatives and then seven negatives and we can't make any zero pairs so we don't have any positives so our answer is we have ten negatives so negative ten. Number four, we have one positive sorry, wrong color. And then four negatives. Then we are gonna make our negative pair. So what we have left is three negatives. All right, number five, eight negatives, three positives, and we can make three zero pairs. And what we have left is five negatives. So that's gonna be negative five.
Number six. Six negatives. And then another three negatives. And we cannot make any zero pairs, so this is going to be negative nine. All right, Sean owes his friend $10, so that's going to be represented by a negative $10 he owes him. And then he made $20, so positive $20 mowing the lawn for his neighbors. How much money does he have? So we are going to have 20 positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, and then ten negatives. One, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, make our zero pairs. All right, what's left? We have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So positive $10 is our answer. All right, last one, number eight. Tyler was 16 meters below sea level. So that is negative 16 meters. He swam nine meters towards the surface. So a positive nine meters. At what elevation is Tyler at now? <coughs> Make our zero pairs. And we have left is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So negative seven meters is his elevation. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video.